crippling, Davey. Yeah, absolutely horrendous. You know, I'm outside Scottish Power here in Glasgow. I'd like to say I'm joined by Kate Cunningham from Energy Revice Scotland. What's your reaction to the news? Sadly, it's, it, it, we were expecting this, but nonetheless, it's absolutely devastating for households. Um, it'll be over a million households in Scotland now that are pushed into fuel poverty and... Frankly, you know, we're going to be looking at hundreds of thousands of people whose health and well-being are, are are going to be compromised to the point of lives being threatened. The worst of it is, as well, is you know what can be done. We need government intervention. We need targeted intervention. We need it as a matter of urgency. This isn't a time to be talking about what we might do and what we. COVID showed us that we can legislate overnight and we need to do that now. We need to be really focused on the people who are most in need and to protect them, actually, to protect their well-being and to protect those households who otherwise are going to immediately ricochet into the NHS because they have, they simply don't have enough money coming in to cover anything like the bills are going to be receiving. You're talking about protecting people, but it sounds very much like the situation's going to get a lot worse. The situation is going to get worse. I think that people need to understand, unfortunately, that the price cap doesn't mean that this is the maximum that they will pay that will be proportionate to the bills that they pay anyway. So some households will pay an awful lot more than this, but also that the price cap will go up again. And we are stuck in this situation for the foreseeable future. So this isn't trying to get through this winter and how will we budget in the short term. Longer term intervention is needed to help people understand how they will manage for months and years ahead. And it's not just people, it's businesses as well, because I know cafe owners I've spoken to as well, you're up to £4,000 uh, a month in bills, which is ridiculous. Absolutely, because businesses are not capped, they're not protected by this, so they're just seeing their bills increase, increase, increase. And those costs also are, are pressed, pushed onto consumers, so people who are hard-pressed anyway are going to see everything rise round about them. Thank you, Kate. There we go, Kate Curring from Energy Advice Scotland. Uh,